Welcome back to my Pokemon Exigo Darkness Let's Play. Now, for those of you who don't know, in the last video I was given an invitation to go to Mount Battle and talk to... Uh, I forget his name, but I'm supposed to come here and talk to him. At the moment I'm talking to a red-haired guy. They say his... I don't remember to actually say his official name in the game, and I'm not looking it up. I'm just gonna call him Red from now on, because he wears all red. And this one, brother, will be blue. So for those of you who don't know, Mountain Battle is essentially a, basically a post-game race, like the Battle Frontier was in Emerald, and the Battle Tower in Ruby and Sapphire. Basically, you go to Mount Battle, oh, they have Battle in the name sex instance? So I think not. Okay. They all have... Okay, so basically you come here and you challenge 100 trainers, 10 in sets of 10, going up the mountain in escalation. Until you get to the boss trainer at level 100, after you beat him, oh his name is Vander, I'm here to see Vander. Okay, after you beat him, you apparently will be able to get one of the three Johto starters with an elemental hyperbeam move. Now, I've done the Mountain Battle Challenge before, but I've never gotten my hands on them. Probably because I had a party of six, I don't know why. I don't really care anymore. But here, I'm not doing the challenge, I'm just here to see Vander, and apparently they're closed for training. So before I actually get to see Vander, I have to battle a few people to get to him. And first up is this chick. Uh, yeah, in a, in a little downtime, I nicknamed my Umbreon Umbri, and I put Ursa back at the top of my party, mainly because she is one of the strongest in that group. It's secondly because of this. Yeah, return. Yeah, what the fuck was that? I get a lick animation, it's just weird to me. Okay, I know you're halfway lazy when you're translating the names of random battle of random characters in the game, but Miru? Miru? How do you pronounce that? I don't think they fully translated it, I just think they romanized it. What was his name? Again, I do not think the translators gave a fine fuck about some of these people's names. And they just either romanize their names or just put it typed in random letters. I was thinking about maybe having a, a mount battle challenge during the post game, but I'm thinking against it. Mainly due to the time constraints, and I'm just basically doing story, so I'm not going to focus on a purifying shadow Pokemon like I would be. And if I was playing this game seriously, I would just. I'm just doing the bare bones story of this game. And I might do one or two extra things. And I probably will do some things off screen, like I might catch a Pokemon or so off screen, but anything major I'll show you guys and I'll just be story.
And again, like I've said previously before, I am loving these lose animations. Like losing a Pokemon battle is the worst thing ever for these guys. And there's Vander talking to some guy. Okay, if you're not running the towns right now, how would I get in? Bardo? Oh, that's a few loads away from being something awesome. So close. I'll just slow the window of odd moves. Uh, basically, it's really only good when you're fighting a ghost Pokemon. It doesn't get a physical attack. So it's the only thing that can make Pokemon like Sableye and Spiritomb have weakness. Because you'll be able to hit them with fine type moves after using it, so you'll be able to take advantage of their dark typing. Other than that, they don't have a weakness. And now I've taken care of this guy. And so, Vander is now giving me the location of the Chipper Research Lab. That should be a pretty interesting sight. Okay, I have to get my Pokemon. And you can just get Pokeballs in the village. So now I'm going to go stock up on some Pokeballs because it's a shipper facility, so I'm pretty sure I run to a shit ton of Shadow Pokemon. About 20 should probably do it. Yeah, that should do it. Then I have 26. I'm gonna get a premium brush and I have 27 Pokeballs. And I think now is a good time. I need to stop for right here. Uh, next time I'll be going to the Tripper facility. This will be probably interesting. Until then, see you next time.